Hi everyone. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hi Diane. Hi Renee. Why does my phone tell me that I'm not live until 10.30? That's so annoying. <laughs> Are you being cute, Nanny? <laughs> I have Nanny with me again today. Hi, Beth Ann. Welcome. I can't decide. These are my two deciding images today. Yay! <laughs> so this is part two of the Colorathon um, hashtag a colorful Christmas with Nick and Tina and uh, this is one I did yesterday he came up all right. I had a bit of trouble with white paint, so I ended up using some um, some embossing powder. It came out all right. He's so cute. I love his face. Hi, May. Uh, so that was yesterday's, and um, and uh, these are the two that I'm deciding on. So this is Micah Jelena, and this is Ennis Guerrero. Um, Ennis's image is available on Etsy. No, not Etsy, sorry. This one's a Patreon only one, which I think I've put the link up in the top corner. Um, so have a look there. Hi, Deb. Welcome, guys. Come in. Um, I'm a little bit sleepy today. <laughs> um, but I'm here. Yay! Hi, Linda. Welcome. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I might... I've, I've done an Ennis... 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 Ennis image last Christmas as well. So I think I would like to do the Ennis one. Um, but at the same time, this one's really cool. So this one was off Etsy. It's also in the Colouring Heaven Christmas special as a liner. Uh, but the liner version doesn't have a background in it in this one. But the one that you get on Etsy has a background as well. So, oh, it does have a background. There you go. You can purchase it without the background as well. So this is the grayscale. There's two different versions of the grayscale. There's a dark, dark. This is like a medium. And then there's lighter and line up. Hi, Corolla. Hi cat, welcome, welcome guys, come in. So um, yeah, but I can't decide. I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't know. Should we have a vote? No emojis though, because I might get booted from from YouTube. Really? Shh. Nani, noisy. <laughs> we'll have a vote after I've got a flip through of a book by I think it's Tatiana Bogma is that how you say it let me have a look can't remember her name why can't I remember her name Having a moment, having a very senior moment right now. It is, it's Tatiana Bogma or Bogma. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I've got uh, her coloring book, one of her Christmas coloring books here that I wanted to do a flip through of. It's really cute. Uh, it's available on Etsy as a PDF and I'm going to say most likely on Amazon as well. Hi Sherry, welcome. So I thought we'd do a flip through of it. So while I'm deciding or we just before we do a bit of a vote on this, let's do a flip through of that book and then uh, we'll come back and we'll decide. Everybody's joining the stream today. Hello Shadow. <laughs> Hi Pat. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Here's a flip through.
So guys, um, that was the Christmas book. I've posted up the links. It's available as a printable, which is what I got off of Etsy. It's also available on Amazon. Pretty cute. Um, but uh, I don't know. I, I was going to do something out of it, but decided not to. But uh, I decided to do the flip through anyway. There's the uh, Amazon version. So hello to Mary, Christy, who else popped in? Nana, hello. And Renee, hello. Laura, hi. Yeah, I know, Joe Beth's stream. I couldn't stay. It just kept buffering the whole time and I was um, trying to get everything organised for this morning. So unfortunately I couldn't sit around either but yeah that was uh, really buffering wasn't it anyway let's vote oh thanks Nana so this one is from Ennis's um, patreon if you click on the little information box in the top corner if it's not there try refreshing it will be there um, I added it into the cards so you could see it it's coming up on mine and that's her patreon there so um, that's where this one came from and uh, this one is Michaelina's as I said uh, it is available in liner in the Christmas special coloring heaven and I got this one on Etsy I have a link for the Etsy one it came with two images so um, I'll pop that here so I'll get people to write uh, Wolf or Chris because her name's Chris apparently I don't know what this one's name is I'll have to have a look in my folder but I'll get you to comment Wolf or Chris and I'll find the real name of this one <laughs> uh, where is she the two the two of wands and winter and a winter whisper <laughs> should I read that again the two of wands and a winter whisper is the name of the wolf one <laughs> that's a mouthful hey so let's vote come on guys Chris or wolf I've got a, quite a few wolves so far hi Miranda welcome Welcome. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. Hi, Rainbow. Welcome, guys. Hi, Ashley. Uh, so far, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Loretta. Twelve. Twelve for Wolf so far. I've only got uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, Chris. So we're going wolf. Hi, cat. Welcome. Um, so I'll colour this one. <laughs> Why not? Let's do the wolf. What's wrong, Nani? There's someone out there. Nani's uh, joined us today again. Alright, so let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so um, Ennis's Patreon is $5 a month, $5 US dollars a month, and uh, she does give her patrons exclusive sneak peeks at uh, things that she's working on, and also she gives colouring pages. So uh, she does usually do one a month, but I think this month we actually got two. Uh, and if you were to become a patron now, uh, all of the previous images that she had for patron only is still open, so you can go back and download those as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, she has some amazing images, and I can't wait to colour her again. We're doing another colour along with her in April, which is pretty cool. So... Um, We'll get back to Ennis again. But, um, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, sorry, Loretta. I picked this one. We'll make her Christmassy. We'll give her a red coat. And, um, 
and some green gloves and maybe green eyes. Something like that. Maybe we could give her multicolored hair. <laughs> Hi Rain, welcome. I'm going to use Copics as a base. I've actually printed on Nina today. Nina, I love you. <laughs> and um, my little look how scribbly my board is. My mat. I really need to redo it. But I'd like to have something hard to lean on, especially when I'm using pencils, because the uh, desk mat is too soft and it pushes right into the paper. So I want to make sure I've got a fairly firm fur surface behind so that um, I don't push into the paper. <laughs> Pat, is that for me? Thank you. <laughs> All right, so um, need to make sure. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. You do that. All right, Loretta. Juries. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we'll start with, do we want to give her a red coat? Okay. We'll give her a red coat. Um, She's kind of a reindeer, isn't she? She's got ears and she's kind of cool. I'm just thinking, I'm having, you know, one of those, I don't know what type of colors to do. Just let me think. So this is Enes Guerrero. Uh, yeah, Rain, I brought two watercolor books from Secure. Uh, but I didn't like the watercolour paper. It wasn't very good. Uh, also, I think um, the mob that does watercolours, what were they called? Let me just check. Um, Prima Marketing. Prima Marketing do a few different uh, watercolour books. Oh no, Barbara, is there? Who else is on? I thought I was the only one on. That's weird. This is my normal stream time anyway, but... Oh no, Shaleen. I didn't realise. Oh well. <laughs> Done now. Uh, I think I went too dark with the other colour. I might go with some... Really? Oh. Is that so? She's actually got... Really? Can you not not do that, please? I'm going to do a base layer of marker and then I'm going to... Shadow. Seriously. I'll do green. I might do... She's got like a... I'll do green gloves and there's... Whatever she's got, I think, uh, yeah, I'll do green gloves and I'll do green eyes. And on the wolf, I'll do blue eyes. And I don't know about the hair yet. We'll decide on that later. But um, I'm just trying to miss the snow. There's some snow. Shh. Noisy. There's some snow on her antlers and also on her hat. And I just want to miss those areas because... They're so hard to cover over with red. Red is a hard colour to go over. Uh, with white gel pen or white paint pen or anything like that, it uh, comes through pink. And uh, 
I really want to leave some white areas. So, I'm just going to leave little white spots over the hat. I mean, we, we could probably add in a few more over the red. Actually, using the um, embossing powder was brilliant uh, on the red yesterday. So, I could even do that. That would look pretty cool too. So we might actually do that and that will save me from worrying too much about the other white spots on her. So I've left a few of them. And of course Nina bleeds as well, so those little spots that I left have already caved in early. <laughs> Hi Jo Beth! Welcome! Hi Kenny! Hi Pam! Hi guys, come in, welcome! So Beth, we were just saying that we were, I, I tried to watch some more of the stream, but it just kept buffering. Not so bad. I can't believe how close to Christmas it is now. Oh my gosh, it's scary. It is shadow scary. You don't care. <laughs> she says, I don't care. Squeak, squeak. Of course, I just went over her hair. Good on me. I'm not feeling it today, am I? <laughs> Get rid of that. Thanks, Joe Beth. This one's from Ennis. This was a Patreon exclusive image. Just trying to get rid of that red I've just put in the hair. Because I'm not sure what colour to do the hair yet. I'm not sure whether we'll do it coloured or whether we'll do it not coloured. Ennis's images are always amazing. I especially love the grayscale. I do. Hi Graceland. Oh, I'm so sorry, Joe Bear. He did, didn't he? Look, there he is. Yeah, coming out pretty cool. <laughs> Just feel like going out the lines today for some reason. Do, 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 do. Got 
got so much to do. I just got a whole heap of meat and I need to go and pack it all up. And uh, freeze it. Got bills to pay. Presents to do. Need to go shopping to find something to wear at some stage too. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I guess it's Jesus' birthday. I could just wear my birthday suit. <laughs> sure my friend would love that. <laughs> Oh dear. Bad joke. <laughs> I know, I have so much to do. I know she does, doesn't she, Joe Beth? I love her work. Love it. You know what? I happened to pick a colour that I don't have a refill in too. I just realised. <laughs> Good on me. Lucky I'm using pencils over the top, so... Squeak, 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 squeak. It's because it's getting low. I need to put this colour on my list, my shopping list. My ever growing list of refills. You can do it. <laughs> uh, Graceland, this is from Ennis's Patreon. So up in the top corner of the video, there's a little I. If you click on that, it will take you to her Patreon page. Okay, let's look here. Have we got all of the red? I'm going to make her hair come all the way down to the bottom so you won't be able to see that. And I've left a couple of spots on the top here for some snow. And uh, I'm going to add some more snow, but I'm going to use the embossing powder to do that. Because it worked really well on Santa. Uh, it doesn't bleed through or anything, so that was all red underneath there. And when I was trying to do the acrylic paint, it was coming through pink. So um, we'll use the embossing stuff and we'll get it on there. It'll look cool. I'm addicted to it now. Um, Alright. Let's give her some pretty emerald kind of green eyes, I reckon. What have I got? Maybe some G17. Yeah, 
we'll fix it up slightly with some um, pencil as well give them some highlights a bit more depth but I like that that's a good color they stand out just gonna zoom in a little bit there Oh, I hope Tanya is fine. Send her everybody's love. Let's go to like steely blue eyes. This wolf. Ice blue. I don't know. What would you call it? <laughs> blue. Uh, let's do a layer of E triple zero on the skin. Hi, Rochelle. Night, Carola. Thanks so much for dropping in. Got a tiny little bit of her finger popping out there. <laughs> um, I'm going to give her some pink sort of lips. So I've got some R20. Mary. Night May. Oh yeah, that's good. Get get the mother on sale. Just putting that R20 just around the outside of her eyes and just a tiny little bit under the eyes as well. And uh, let's add it into the inside of her ears. I can't see the other one. A little bit into the fox's ear. A oh, wolf, sorry. Called him a fox. Where did the fox come from? Looks nothing like a fox. <laughs> All right. And just doing base layers, remember, at the moment. And then we're going to come back over the top with pencil. Uh, I just thought it was it's a little bit quicker to do it that way. Why is my desk squeaking? <laughs> squeaking. It's annoying me. Anyway. Um, and I just realized I forgot to put my jewelry on when I got up this morning. Rushing around, doing stuff. <laughs> I haven't got my watch on, so I don't even know what time it is. All right, um, let's get on with it. Let's do some brown for the these bits. I'm actually going to use a couple of browns. What were you looking for? A Kelly Art. No, I don't have it. have Kelly art and I wanted to do um, this is E77 by the way I wanted to get the Everblend markers so I could do a color comparison chart from those to from Copic to those but I couldn't get them such a bummer
Maybe one day they'll sell them over here. No worries, Sherry. Oh, I've got a surprise for us on Friday. And then on Monday before Christmas, the 23rd, well, it's 23rd my time. Um... I've got another surprise for you. Some discounts and next week a giveaway. I like giveaways. Going into the darkest areas. These browns are one of my favorite brown blends. snow on that side there and snow all under here Uh, yes, she does, Miranda. Uh, Ennis Guerrero has Etsy. But this one's not on Etsy. This is a Patreon only one, this one. She has some amazing work. Okay. So I've just done the darker sections. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of E79 because there's a few sections there that are really dark. I'm just going to get those. And the reason that I'm going to use mainly markers in this bit is because none of the pencil sets have this color in them. It's really hard for me to do a conversion for this set because uh, there isn't really anything like it. Sounds like a street cleaner out there. Nani's been hearing it all morning coming up and down streets. You can hear it coming, but it hasn't come down this street yet. So, <laughs> Oh, I'd like to get in cows. That one's on my list to get. I'll get it for you. The uh, witch coven book that I did was all of Ennis's work. Excuse my mouse, it's noisy. Pain in the butt. Oh, 
it is. I've just posted it. It's <laughs> it's Guerrero. It's spelled G U E double -R, R E R O N S E N Y S. And I just posted the link to her Etsy shop. And then obviously Patreon link is up in the top corner of the video. What are you laughing at over there? Oh, Nani's dreaming. <laughs> Cute. All right, let's go with some E74. Fill in some more. Yeah, she has actually in cast. I really like it. It's a cool book. I just haven't got it yet. I have so many on my list and I just uh, kind of browse through them every month and uh, some get shortlisted and some don't. some E71. Karen has some pretty awesome stuff. Just leaving a gap for the white so we can pop some snow on there. Oh no, Pam's computer froze. We're all frozen. Okay, if you look, Miranda, in the video window, just in the top corner, there's a little eye. If you click the little eye in the top corner of the video, it shows her Patreon. I can show you if you like. It's going to be kind of weird watching my own. Thing, let me see if I can find it though. Yeah, that's the eye up the top there. Yeah. I'm just going to show it on my on my screen share thing here. So can you see my mouse there? Let's just scroll down. There's a little dot up here. If you click on that, that's Ennis's Patreon. If you're on the phone app, you need to click it so you can see the play button. And up in the top corner, there's a little eye. It's the same kind of thing. 
I can show you here on my phone. Let's just go back to my <laughs> I need my mouse guys. <laughs> I need my mouse. Oh my gosh. So on a phone app here, you got to be able to see the play button, but just up here. The you got to wait for the ad, of course. Huh, I'm watching my own ad. <laughs> here we go. There's an information button here. There you go. And you just click on that and it'll open it and go to Patreon. That's Ennis's Patreon page. Yay! Okay, we done that. <laughs> Get these lines nice and smooth. No worries. No worries. Easy peasy. I'm actually going to do her eyebrows this color. I go with the E77. Just trying to do little flicks to create a little bit of texture. And uh, we can put a little bit more detail in with pencil when I come in. Okay. Let's add some pencil detail, shall we? Bye bye, Santa. You're done. <laughs> Pablos here. Pablo. Pablos. A bit of Bista. Karen Dash Pablo pencils. I'm just going to do a little bit of detail. Covering over the grey lines, I just want to try to put as much colour on it as I possibly can. It's kind of a, I don't know, the trick to colouring grayscale, I guess it's called a trick, isn't it? Or tip. Is to try to colour all of the black lines with some sort of colour. Even if it is black. <laughs> So just lining over the top of those lines and getting rid of all of the black. It's kind of a, I don't know, I've kind of always done it. It reminds me of no line colouring. It's like trying to get rid of the actual line of the artist and uh, making it look like it's a drawn image, I guess.
Polly's. <laughs> Everyone else is picking Prismas. I would pick Polly's, right? That's my pick. First reason is Prismas aren't light fast. And uh, the quality of them has changed a lot over the years. They're not as uh, nice as they used to be. Just adding a little bit of this into her eyebrows. Let's do our eyes. I'm going to grab something really light. Um, what have I got here? Prismas. Overdoing. <laughs> I've got light green. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this into the bottom of her eye. to lighten that up a little bit and I'm also going to use a little bit of white so I'm going to use luminance you know my favorite white just wanting to add some highlight in her eyes I'm grabbing a little bit of what have we got? The greys aren't all that great in this set, um, I find. Let's go with greyish black. Just going to put a little bit of this around the outside of the eyeball. So where the whites of the eye are. Do you want me to zoom in a little bit? Can we see? Let's do zoom. Let's do zoom. Oh, wait, so that the other window open. <laughs> Is this a good zoom? And then I'm just going to blend that out with the white, with the Karen Dash white, Luminance white. Blending over the top of it. Giving her a little bit of dimension and shadow in there. Um, we want some ivory black, which needs a sharpen. Yeah, there's lots of different Derwent pencils, you're right. Because <laughs> Derwent have Color Soft, Color Fast, Derwent Studio, Derwent Artist, Derwent. Like, they've got loads of different types of pencils. I'm still going to pick Prisma over Derwent, though. Get off. I still need to get the second set of the light fast ones. I've only got the first ones. Oh, and do an ink tents over Prisma. <laughs> Just using black to line around the outside of the eye and also do the pupil. Oh, 
eyelashes are coming down and over her eye there so I'm just making sure I fill those in as well and some of them are coming up just got a little bit of a line here I'll just go blend that in a little bit okay now I'm going to use some sort of pink let me just go have a look here um, salmon squeaky desk to come into the corners of the eye there and around the outside and then using the white luminance again I'm just going to come around the very outside edge of the corners of the eye there and just over the waterline a little bit pretty and then we'll add our white Thank you. Are these a pencils, Rochelle or Marcus? I was just talking about the Arteza Ever Blends and how I couldn't get any. I could get a sixty pack, but it's no point. I don't want a sixty pack. Just popping a couple of little spots along the bottom of the white of the eye to show that it's kind of moist just going to add another little highlight spot in the eye there as well a couple of little dots when I come in and do the eyelashes we'll obviously add a little bit more in there but for now her eyes are done Oh, thanks, Nana. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta just zoom back out again. All right, let's do her ears. A little bit of E55. Right, and then I can use some pencil over that. I've got some brown ochre. Coming over the black lines. I'm dying for a drink this morning. I've just sent Alyssa off to grab me one. Really thirsty. Okay, so just on the outline of the ear first. No worries, Nana. I'm just going to do some flick. Flicks. <laughs> Flicking. Getting a little bit of texture in there. Then we should be able to, thank you, 
should be able to see some of the other colour coming through, which is kind of nice. That's why I like doing both. Got my drink. Hi, Kelly. Oh, I needed that. And a little bit of uh, that bistro that we used before as well, just adding a few darker looks through there. Different colours will create different textures. The more sort of different colours that we put through, the more textured it will look. Let's bring that up a little bit closer and you can see what we're starting to do. Some of that salmon pink on the inside here. Sorry, was it salmon? Not salmon pink, just salmon. <laughs> the cone is so noisy. <laughs> dark reds in this set um, so I've got let me just grab them out there's a few different reds there's carmine which is like a pinky red there's Indian red there's Bordeaux red there's dark carmine and then there's scarlet there's also fast orange which is an orangey red there's vermilion, um, but there's not a really huge choice on reds in this set. So it's kind of going to be a burgundy red. Let's go with dark carmine first and cover over some of these lines. We'll try to use the marker to help us with blending and things. It's kind of cool. It actually needs to be sharpened. it dark in the shadow areas and I'm just really lighting up the pressure as I come out so we've got a little bit of a faded out color which just help me blend in with the next color I might not get this finished today. I just realised the time. I've only got an hour left. Time flies when you're having fun, hey? I'm a little bit quiet today too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have much to say. What's new? What's people been doing? Oh, Nani, what's the matter? You're being noisy. <laughs> Talking to me now. Well, we need to put a shadow under the antler here. Can make that quite large. Do 
need a bit of black. Ivory black I've got. I don't know why I pick ivory black. No, no, it's the first one there. Make that shadow that little bit darker. with that color line, dark color line. Get that nice and smooth. Try and keep that really light ridge on it, I think. Get my mermaid dusting brush. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. Bit of a shadow and also some light color in there. A bit more black. And then back over with the dark car line. Now, under some of these little snow pieces, I'm just going to add a little bit of black for a bit of a shadow. I know there's not many yet, but when we add on the, um, the embossing powder, we'll add some of the black lines under that as well. Just so they look like they're raised and uh, it is actually sitting on. Yeah, I need another drink. Um, darkest pencil, black pencil. Prismacolor's probably got the heaviest colour. Um, I haven't actually got a Luminance Black, but if the Luminance Black is anything like the Castle Earth, uh, that's not that great either. But let me have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, squeaky chair. Let's just pull off some of these ones. I don't need them. You know what's interesting? Where's my colour black? It isn't even on my colour wheel. That's funny. I had it out. Now I don't know where I put it. There it is. Let's have a look. I got some scrap. This is watercolor paper, but let's have a. Yeah, Prismacolor is really dark. Let's have a look at Ivory Black. No, that's no good. Let's just have a look at Black. Still, Prismacolor is better. Um. Yeah, everything I've got, I'm just having a look at the other. Holborn's got a black, which is quite dark as well. This is the Holborn one, but I still think Prisma's darker. And I have got the Luminance colour thing here. Let me just find it. There it is. I'm still going to say Prisma is better. Prisma. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, no, the the lumi the luminance black is still slight. It's more blue than it's not as dark. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it's definitely not as dark. The prisma black at the top there is heaps darker than the others. Ivory black is close, and luminance black is close too. Sorry, the Caran d'Ache ivory black is close. But yeah, I'm going to go with Prisma as the darkest. Bye -bye. I need a little bit of a shadow around there. Yeah, my phone's going off here. There you go. Oh, I see that Faith's coming home soon, so you'll need to open the door for her. Okay. Putting in some shadows. So I'm still using black to do that for now, and then I'll come back over it with that carmine. I'm going to put a bit of a shadow on from where the ear is sitting over. Hi Michelle, welcome. I think Prisma's just, because it's a, a wax base, it's so opaque. Um, and luminance is really similar being the same kind of base and I think that's just why it looks more black because it is a lot more opaque oh there you go <laughs> I mean, the most opaque you could get would be, I'd say, a paint pen or something like that if you're trying to go really dark. Like the, um, um, Posca black pen, they're really dark. Now, Ennis's images are all kind of gothic looking and, um, some of them... Like, they're not all clean and crisp. It's like there's a darkness to them. Um, almost dirty kind of look, but not. <laughs> I, I quite like it. It just makes things look older and darker. More ominous. Add a little bit of the scarlet next. Oh, the Holben actually. Um, Nana, I hadn't used the Holben. There's a soft white, and I didn't. I had never used it until the other day. I didn't realize how soft it was. And uh, it is really opaque. I can show you that too, actually, if you want. Because I like my Lumi. Right, but the Holman was really cool. 
it's like, does anyone know the difference between this white and the soft white? And then I tried it and I went, oh, I know the difference now. <laughs> it's white. Hey, where is it? I was using it. It's over here somewhere. Mm, I need to try this on a bit of marker, I think, to show you. Let's go with this colour. I'm using, this is watercolour paper, so it's not going to go down that well. But it'll help show the different whites. So this is the Holborn Soft White. Maybe. Prisma? Hello. Prisma color white. <laughs> that was the whole one at the start. opaque it is. Let's see if I can use a little bit of that chalk. That was a white charcoal. You okay there? I mean obviously white charcoal is good but it uh, wipes off so. But yeah that, that Holborn is awesome. Isn't it? It's a little bit chalky, but I don't mind it. it it's good. So, um, I mean, nothing can beat your white pen. Of course. <laughs> but we get it. Alright, let's go back to Scarlet. A little bit of Scarlet here. Just lightly coming over the marker. I'm just going to use the marker to, like, I don't have to blend as much because the marker's under there now. I just have to lay a nice thin layer of colour over and it goes more even. And I've managed to keep it nice and red too, so. That's cute. You don't have to use Copics for base either. Any kind of marker would do as a base. You could use a water based marker. Don't use a water based marker on Nina though. Nina doesn't like it. <laughs> she doesn't like water. She's allergic to it. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, I'm going to stop on the... I'm not going to do the rest of her hood yet because I want to get some of her face done. So let's have a look at her face details. Um, I wanted to have uh, some nice kind of pinky, light pinky lips. So just put everything away I've pulled out. <laughs> got some ruby red. I'll zoom in again for the lips. 
Oh, hello. Coloring over all of the dark black areas. So there's colour over those. And then just lightly softening off the edges of that by lightening up the pressure of my pencil. Then I've got some raspberry red, raspberry red. Extending a little bit further out now. I've left really light pressure in the lightest areas and I'm going to use white. Should we try the Hobham white? Let's give it a go. It might be too opaque for what I'm looking for, but I'll give it a go. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Just blending off with white. It doesn't have to be Hobham. I just decided to grab it because it's here now. Need to see if I can get open stock in it before I go using it too much. Cute little pink lips. Give her a bit of a highlight with some white pen. Well, that didn't work so well. Come on, pen. Here we go. A couple of spots there. I'm just going to tap my finger over it so they're not like defined dots or lines. It's just a little bit lighter there. Here we go. good thing about gel pen is it scratches off if you get it wrong. <laughs> I know it's pretty isn't it? Alright let's do um, a little bit of marker on her skin. Oh. See I want to make these look like smudged dark black. Um areas but I want to add a little bit of red in there because you know Ennis has got that sort of you know as I said macabre sort of dark look so I've got a little bit of scarlet I'm just going to add that to the edges of those dark black areas And a little bit of the black again, just coming over the darkest black lines, using firmo pressure for those areas and just lightening it up as I come out. So we're just mixing that black in with the red now. Just gonna add a little bit more of that scarlet on the top. Her eyelid. I know she's got they're always sad looking aren't they beautiful I love it I don't mind the sad depressed macabre gory maybe not gory but dark Okay. 
I'm going to use Bordeaux Red. Oh, I'm going to run off for a second. Hang on. Bear with me. So uh, Kelly, the uh, antlers were done with Copic and a little bit of uh, Pablo, just for the darkest areas. All right, let's try that again. Bordeaux red. I'm just going to put some shadows on now, just really lightly. Adding in some shadow areas. There's a whole heap of nice shaded areas in here. Just coming over the black and the scarlet as well. Okay, I think I might need to add maybe a little bit of the... Let me just check my colours because... Um, where are you, Pablos? Okay. Just having a look at my colour list. I'm thinking maybe some chestnut. Let me find chestnut. There it is. I just make it up as I go. It's not planned, peoples. It's not planned. <laughs> I didn't even know which image I was going to do when we started. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Doesn't look too bad so far. Oh yes, I can zoom back in. Sure can. Okay, oh, look how messy she looks zoomed in, eh? Hey? Not neat. Ugly duckling stage.
this side of her face is really quite dark So I'm just following the lines and the grey areas that were already there and using them as a guide to where I'm putting my colour. Did I do Requiem? I don't even remember. Have I done that one Loretta? Was that one I was going to send you? I remember saying that I'd send something to you and I can't remember which image it was. sending stuff overseas though because things get wrecked so easily. <laughs> let me let me see if I can find Requiem. Requ Requiem? Requ let me look. <laughs> I definitely need a new mouse. We've discussed this, haven't we, Alicia? <sighs> oh no, I haven't done that one yet. That's the one with the violin. Is it? No, I haven't done that one yet. I've looked at it a couple of times and just haven't. Okay, so I'm still using chestnut. And I want to move on. I want to move on. I'm over that colour now. <laughs> Let's go to brownish orange. <laughs> Had enough of it. Don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> no, that's brownish beige. Uh, brownish orange I want. Wow. Come on. You can do it. Why is it so blurry? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Hang on, let me just bring it up here and see if that helps. Oh, look! Oh, the other way. Brownish orange. <laughs> anyway. I sharpen it. I need to do that one, do I? What was that? Just building up gradually. She looks like kind of dirty at the moment, doesn't she? See, I was just saying that. It's kind of dirty like. They're not clean and crisp, they're kind of dark and shadowed. Home. 
saved. Somebody home. Now, what color should we use? I'm sick of that one already. <laughs> Sort of, but not. <laughs> She's going to be different. Let's go with a little bit of hazel next. Hazel, hazel, where are you, hazel? Just really, really lightly over the lightest areas. Let's not wipe that bit off. That might uh, smudge. Really lightly in those light areas. Now the texture of the Nina is coming through here, so I'm going to need to blend it off a bit to get rid of those lines and gaps in the paper. I think that brought it more, the hazel brought it more to the colour of her ears as well. So that was good. Give us some more of that orangey kind of tone. But it's still soft enough to be able to come in with a little bit of pink, I think. And just soften it all off. down onto her neck here. Alright. Now, what's next? A couple of things I think we'll do. I love this colour. Granite rose and then a little bit of white. Oh, my sharpener didn't like sharpening that one. It did not. <laughs> Here it is. Granite rose. I love this colour. This is my favourite colour. I 
I'm just going to blend it all in nice and smooth. I can't believe there's only 20 minutes. The only thing. With these beautiful images is that I want to take my time and do them. I've still got a Jennifer Zimmerman's one sitting there with the monkey to do. So just smooth that off and I'm going to use the Luminance White just a little bit just to come in and make sure everything's flat and smooth. Then all of that colour is blended in together. We need a little bit more hazel here. Just building up colour. Alright, so we're going to do that over the rest of the image now, over the rest of the skin. Granite Rose. Just come back in with Bister on the eyebrows there just to darken them back up because I lightened them with that. And also I'll come back in with the black a little bit around those darker edges as well and just deepen that up again. We started off with that base layer underneath as well. We haven't got the white paper sort of coming through, peeking through. We've got that really nice light sort of tan cream colour coming through instead. Anywhere where I've got too much pink, I can come back in with a little bit of the hazel and just add a little bit more hazel in. Well, I've already... Oh, my monkey. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing it on Patreon. It's one thing that uh, some are asking for. Animals? I 
I'm trying to not I'm trying not to use too much pressure either I'm kind of um, going over the same area a few times to flatten it trying not to put too much pressure on the pencil and the paper She's looking pretty cool. I love how smooth her skin's coming out. And uh, it's kind of pink here. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that hazel. Yeah, Kenny, I've ne I had never coloured steampunk until this event thing that happened. Mm, probably not really my style either, I guess. This is my thing. I love doing this kind of thing. Now, I had a little bit of the paper is kind of blemished a little bit just there, which is going to make it awkward. Doesn't want to blend. Being mean to me, Nina. Come on. Work for us. of Layla. <laughs> Got me on my knees, Nina. This was my dodgy lot though, that I ordered from some online boutique here in Australia and it didn't come with packaging, it just came in a bag. So how do I really know it is Nina? Hmm? <laughs> oh look at her, she's lovely. went over her eyebrow again then. Naughty. I just have to put that back in there. Oh I know. But when it's not really your thing, it takes, it's a lot more work, I think, a lot more effort to get it to go right. I'm using the Luminance White now just to soften up and make sure everything's blended. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're doing something that you, it's not really your thing, it takes a lot longer to think about it and, I don't know. I just find that when, when it's something that, is my thing it's so easy and people how do you do that so easy I don't know because it's just my thing 
and then other times there's things that aren't quite as easy and uh, I don't know it just doesn't come out as well Sarah um, it just says to hit to uh, hang on let me find the title again uh, it was called the two of wands and a winter whisper that's all it's called the two of wands so whether that's, um, I don't know, a tarot card or something, I'm not sure. Uh, this one's from her Patreon store, um, Sarah, her Patreon page, I should say. Um, from Patreon. Patreon store. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a wolf. But maybe it's not. happy with that so far it's looking good let's just zoom out and see how she looks as a whole looking good I think I need to go in with the black and just redo some of that get rid of some of the light color off there that's a bit better let's bring that up to the top there a little bit just where it sort of faded out a little bit with that pink Good, and uh, a little bit more scarlet. And you may not be able to see it as much here on camera because of the shine, but um, it just adds to it. I 
kind of do have a squeaky desk today. I don't know what's wrong with it. Every time I lean on it, it goes... <laughs> Adding a little bit of that scarlet under her chin there and under her nose. happy with it. I think it's good. I think I need to just line those lashes a little bit. I don't want to line the ones that are over the sides yet because I don't know what colours I'm doing in there so if I go and line them in I'm just going to smudge it. It's not going to look so great. Let's do the neck. The granite rose. It just kind of softens it that little bit, doesn't it, the white? Just in the top uh, right hand corner of the video, there's the information uh, thing, Sarah. That's where her Etsy is, her Etsy, her Patreon is. Now I'm getting confused. five dollars a month US but um, all of her previous images are available as well so you get to grab those as well and I did uh, one of the Etsy images last year which was the Yule, Yule log or Yule something it was it was a beautiful image I liked that one that was one of my favorites actually And then the white just to give us that little touch of bright. Just blending that off a little bit. Lovely. Uh, just going to add a little bit more depth under her chin and where'd that border red go? Where did it go? Just a baby bit. And then some of the hazel. Bit better. And adding a little bit more white again. Better. I don't know what that is. It might be a collarbone or something there. <laughs> Looks good. So the paper's actually shiny now, I think is what she's saying. It's actually taken a lot. If I was to add more colour on, I still could get more in there. Um, it's not completely 
flat um, and because these pencils are kind of nice and soft we can get still a few more layers on I like the way that Nina, the way that Nina works. There's not as much work that's involved in getting a nice smooth look is why I like it so much. So yeah, it's good. What's the time? Oh gosh, it's time to go already. But I was going to do the hair. Honestly, I don't know what color I was going to do the hair. not decided probably brown or black actually black hair would look really nice <laughs> she's looking cool look at that shiny if you want if you're doing like something like marker and pencil and you want it to all look shiny just use the Caran Dash full blender over the top and uh, it will do the same even if you haven't used pencil it will add a little bit of wax over the top and you know what who knows it might even protect it a little bit from fading and things like that too so who knows so because we only did a little bit of pencil in the antlers I just added a little bit of the full blender on to give it a little bit of a shine as well. And flatten out any tooth that was there that needed flattening. So my idea was that I would do um, the embossing powder, the white. Should we do just a couple of sections just to see what it looks like? Um, just gonna do those white sections that we already had there. And let's just see what it looks like, shall we? I just want to make sure that I get rid of all of the extra bits. Yeah, I do. It's all good. I've seen people use the coffee um, filters for the powder to catch it in too. That looks kind of cool.
shiny, right? It looks like snow. I like it. And what I might do is, um, I got a bit on there, but that's okay. Um, when I actually can finished, I'll actually do some, like, there's some spots over her hair and her face there. I'll actually do a couple of those as well so that it actually falls over the top. And the Nina doesn't like um, heat either. Look, can you see that? It's kind of bent. Let me zoom back out again. <laughs> it bent. But that's okay. We can flatten Nina out. She's pretty good that way. So yeah, we can add a few more spots on there to show snow and even around the very edges of the hat there as well um, and a few other spots on there but she's looking awesome. I can't wait to see her finish now. But thank you so much for hanging around guys and um, I will see you on Friday. I have a giveaway and we're going to colour up something from... It's a secret. You'll find out probably the day before. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys join me then and um, enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.